When we have an equation that contains fractions, there are some tricks we can use to rearrange. For example, I can look at this and immediately know that d over b is equal to c over a. And I can look at this bottom equation and immediately say that time is equal to distance over speed. These are both true, and I can get there really fast. So what tricks do we need to learn to get to be really fast as well? The first thing worth pointing out, if you want to move d to the other side of the equation, does it move over to the denominator or does it move over to the numerator? To answer that question, we have to remember how we get rid of d from the right. If you want to cancel out d, then you need to multiply by d over 1. Why? Because d divided by d is equal to 1 over 1. But if you multiply the right side and change its value, you have to multiply the left side by the same thing. So what do we notice? When we canceled out d, it flipped from the denominator to the numerator. If we do the same process, we could see that oops, if we wanted to cancel out c and move it to the other side, well, we would have to multiply by 1 over c. And now c divided by c is equal to 1 over 1. So c started in the numerator, and then it moved down into the denominator. So when we have a fraction like a over b equal to another fraction like c over d, if you want to move a to the other side, it flips to the denominator. If you want to move d over to the other side, it flips to the numerator. And likewise, b would go up, c would go down. So when we have an equation like speed equals distance over time, remember that speed is in the numerator. So if you want to move speed to the other side, it goes down to the denominator. If you want to move time over, it moves up to the numerator. And this would give us time equals distance over speed. We could return to the original equation by moving speed to the other side, flipping it to the numerator, moving time to the other side, flipping it to the denominator. This trick only works if we have something like a over b equals c over d. It doesn't work if we have some other thing getting added. Because if we wanted to move d now to the other side, well, we would have to multiply everything on, whoops, everything on the right side by d. And so now the d would get distributed to, the, to this first fraction, and it would get distributed to the e. So the trick doesn't work in all cases, but when we have an equation like speed is distance over time, or force is mass times speed squared over radius, or kinetic energy is one half mass speed squared, or any other host of equations. This trick can become really useful, where we say, oh, if you want to get rid of mass, move it to the other side into the denominator. If you want to get rid of r, move it to the other side into the numerator. If you want to get rid of 2, move it to the other side into the numerator. This is an important way to be able to quickly see the answer when rearranging these physics equations. Thanks for watching.